For the best liberty-oriented talk 24-7, visit lrn.fm. Uh, do you have any concerns about the directions that Homeland and Security has taken since you helped found it with the pat-downs of three-year-olds and all? Well, I, uh, the Department of Homeland Security is much more than uh, the Transportation Security Administration. That's Frank Salufo visiting Manchester, New Hampshire around 2010. He's a member of the Council on Foreign Relations, but kind of a nice guy at least in terms of demeanor and accessibility. While discussing drone strikes, he seemed to make the fair claim that one should not discount the numbers uh, numbers of people killed by the drones or the number of civilians killed by the drones, but the effect of drone strikes versus other types of strikes when it comes to raising or reducing the civilian death toll. Of course, he's claiming that the civilian death toll was going down after the drone strikes started. Ultimately, ye shall know the numbers, and the numbers shall make you free. If using drones instead of real pilots, or drones instead of tanks, reduces the number of civilian kills, okay, I'm willing to listen. But, when we compare, say, the Bush administration to the Obama, or the Obama administration to the Trump administration especially, we should try to compare apples to apples, not apples to oranges. So, there's a certain number of those of us who are anti-war will count, uh, and that is, you know, what is the number of, well, well, one number we will count is what is the number of civilian drone strike deaths imposed by Obama, and what's the number imposed by Trump? So according to Rachel Blevins at the Ron Paul Liberty Report, ronpaulibertyreport.com, Quote, Trump has killed more civilians with illegal drone strikes in nine months than Obama did in eight years, unquote. And she is citing Air Wars, which is an organization that tracks the numbers. They, they claimed that Obama killed 3,000 during the two years of anti-ISIS warfare, roughly 3,000. Uh, Air Wars says that in nine months, Obama has already killed 4,500, but I... I don't know where they're coming up with the eight years figure for Obama if they were only tracking two years. I can't tell from this report. I, I guess it's also important that Trump allegedly once said he would, quote, take out their families, unquote, when he was referring to members of ISIS, which, again, that's one of those things KGB folks do or Nazis do, but supposedly American intelligence agencies and military aren't supposed to do that. I would also, I'd rather see some numbers about the overall number of civilian killings as opposed to just measuring drone strikes or just measuring illegal drone strikes. And we also want to compare a bit to historical precedent. If you think about the numbers, what was the number of uh, French civilians killed between 1940 and 19, well, let's say late, 19, late 1940 and early uh, 1945, most of us don't get super burned up about that because of the fact that you know, most French folks, I think, e is, even in France, but especially in Belgium and Holland, they wanted, they were willing to risk death in order to have the Nazis out. You know, it would not surprise me too much if people living in uh, uh, ISIL areas or ISIS areas feel the same. Nevertheless, I don't see a, ju uh, a justification for these, these kinds of numbers, especially when they're intentionally inflicted. You know, and there are ways of waging warfare that are discriminant and, and don't even require a lot of technology. Again, ask Michael Collins sometime. Even when you factor in the, the number of indiscriminate British atrocities, the, the total number of people killed in the Irish War of Independence, followed by the Irish Civil War, was only about four or 5,000 officially according to Wikipedia. Anyhow, if you wanted a number to bang over this new president's head, now you've got one. He is killing a lot more people, at least twice as many per year, or maybe I should say per month, uh, than Obama did during the last two years of the Obama administration. Uh, more like four times as many. If ronpaullibertyreport.com is correct. LRN.FM, 24 hours of Liberty Radio every day. Now available on satellite, too, at sat.lrn.fm. That's what a satellite sounds like. Put it on your unlicensed station. Wear it in your hair. But above all, don't despair. The Liberty message is getting out. And right now, you're missing it. Or maybe you're not. 
But skip on over to LRN.FM. Feds don't want you to hear them.